Good evening. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to tonight's Board of Ed meeting. The date is Tuesday, November 12th, 2019. And I would appreciate if you turn off your cell phones as this meeting is being recorded. Ellen, will you please do the roll call? Thank you, Chairperson Granado. Good evening, everyone. Mr. Cassio? Here. Mrs. Evans? Here. Mrs. Fitzpatrick? Here. Mr. Healy? Here. Ms. McCurdy? Aloha. <laughs> Mr. Morris? Here. Mrs. Paradise? Here. Vice Chairperson Mr. Hill? Chairperson Mrs. Granado? Present. And Weathersfield High School student representative Mr. Isaac Santos? Here. All present. Thank you, Ellen. And there is no student or staff recognition tonight. So we'll move on to um, tonight's agenda. Oh, sorry. We are going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, though. <laughs> and let me have Diane Fitzpatrick, Ginger McCurdy, Kevin Hill, and John Morris lead us. Okay, thank you. We're still not having any staff or student recognition tonight. None this evening. <laughs> All right, next on tonight's agenda is the approval of the minutes for our regular Board of Ed meeting on October 22nd, 2019. Anyone see any corrections? Move to approve. Okay, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstention? Abstain. Abstain. So noted. Those minutes are approved. Also on tonight's agenda is the approval of the minutes for our special Board of Ed meeting on November 6, 2019. Anyone see any corrections? All right, may I have a motion to approve those minutes? Move to approve. A second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstention? Okay, so those minutes are approved. Um, Right now, we have a slightly different agenda tonight. We're going to have the recognition of former board members. And I would like to speak on behalf of the four members who are leaving. Diane McCormick Fitzpatrick. Diane joined the board four years ago. She's been an invaluable asset to our efforts because of her extensive background in human resources working for the state. Diane brought a level of expertise to the board that I am not sure it had ever enjoyed before. I still think you should get your law degree, and now you have a lot of time. But most importantly, Diane shared the common goal of this board to provide the very best education we possibly could to the students of Wethersfield. She never wavered on any issues that involved the welfare and future of our students. And now that you are retiring from the board, I hope you will continue to enjoy that great family of yours, Allie, Maggie, and Tom, and have time to pursue all the many interests you have. Thanks for all your contribution to this board, Diane, and we all wish you well. I'm gonna have to make sure my kids in college see that I got a standing O. <laughs> okay, Kevin Hill. Kevin also joined the board four years ago, but actually was reelected in 2017. Unfortunately for the board, but fortunately for Weathersfield, he was elected to the town council on November 5th. I think it's safe to say that we have all enjoyed working with Kevin despite the neck ache that usually resulted from having a conversation with him. I've always felt like mini-me sitting next to him up here at the podium for the past two years. Kevin's a lifetime resident of Wethersfield who's now raising his own family here. He has brought to the board his valuable education and experience in public policy. But what has always been most impressive about Kevin is his unrelenting dedication to making the town of Wethersfield a community where parents want to raise their children. So thank you, Kevin, 
for all your contributions to the Wethersfield school system. And we wish you and your lovely family, Jen and twins, Ellie and James, much happiness growing together in our town. And can I say check? <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. And Ginger McCurdy, I know I speak for all of us when I say how happy we are when you join the board, because you have brought a brilliant understanding of finances to our efforts in very challenging budget times. We knew, you were in, we, knew we were in competent hands when you would throw up your arms and say, bring on the spreadsheets, while grinning from ear to ear. But what else should we have expected from a Yale grad from Hawaii? You're always full of surprises, Ginger, and your sense of humor and quick wit will be sorely missed at commi committee meetings. On behalf of the board, we wish you and Jeff and your growing family, which includes baby Vera, much happiness and lots of beach time. And of course, mahala, which I hope you'll recognize as Hawaiian for thank you. And finally, John Morris. John, our resident lawyer, has served the Board of Education for over a decade. For the past four years, at least, you've been our wise man, someone who has listened carefully and thoughtfully before speaking. Those who don't know you may find you quiet and unassuming, but here on the board, we've learned that when John speaks, we all listen. I know this from experience because he served as the vice chair when I was first elected. Your probing mind and gentle but firm skills of persuasion have been a real gift to this board and of course, a great contribution to our success. We all wish you and Laura and your family every happiness and thank you for your long and dedicated tenure of service. I personally hope that this newly found free time will result in another most Improved Golfer Award. Thank you, John. <laughs> okay, and before we have our recess, I'd just like to say a few words. Um, I must tell you what an incredible honor it's been to serve as a chairperson of this board. The members to my right and to my left have not only been my colleagues in our goal to provide the best education possible for Wethersfield's deserving students, but they've also become dear friends. It has always been an honor and privilege to work so closely with our superintendent and the school system's administrators, faculty, and teachers. Wethersfield is best in class in the excellence of its school system, and these people are the reason why. As well, I would be remiss if I didn't thank the many parents I've come to know these last four years who also shared the goal of giving Wethersfield students every possible opportunity to excel. I have loved this town since I was a little girl and to have been afforded the opportunity to be one of its leaders is a memory I will always cherish. I wish our new chairman and the incoming board continued success and you can depend on me as one of its members to continue to be the strongest advocate possible for our kids as we prepare them to be successful adults in the 21st century and to continue to love to learn. Thank you all again. And now I make a motion that we have, you, you wanna say something? Go ahead. Um, this spring, I made the difficult decision not to run again after 17 years of serving, I'm gonna get all choked up, <laughs> to the school community of Wethersfield. From before my kids were in school, up to four years ago, I was involved in four school building committees and was proud to be part of that community accomplishment of the Silas Dean renovation, web renovation, and then finally the high school. 
all of which my kids attended, even though my kids went through the construction phase. <laughs> through these 17 years, I saw a lot of night meetings for building committees, brownies, PTOs, school events, planning, being a band mom, soccer mom, cheering to sleep breath, and all these board of ed meetings. <laughs> through these experiences, I've had the opportunity to work with some great dedicated parents and staff. There were staff that showed up for events after hours and offered any assistance they could give. These parents who showed up and helped for almost everything during their school's kids' entire time in their si the system. They made the difference in our kids' whole educational experience. Each year I've sat up here, I've mentioned and thanked them as they left when their children graduated. And again, I extend my sincere thanks for their contributions. Through my experience as a board member and being active in the schools, I've all know, also witnessed the great staff we have in our schools. I've been impressed by the dedication and creativity of our staff and thank them for our con their contribution to our kids' lives. My most favorite thing is having had the opportunity to meet and work with hundreds of great kids in this district. I've been able to see them grow from shy kindergartners at the Webb Kindergarten Center to confident seniors and now right through college in most cases. And as a community, we should be proud of those results. There's a quote that says, volunteers are not paid, not because they are worthless, but because they are priceless. Mm -hmm. You were all priceless in my book. Uh, <laughs> shown through your dedication and commitment to the students and families of this town. I've been fortunate to have served with you all, to have part of this team has accomplished so many things that have impacted the educational experience of our students and families. I'm proud of the work we've all done and of all of you. We've had a lot of fun and laughs, <laughs> and I hope you've appreciated my sense of humor. <laughs> and if you don't mind, I've added you all to my squad and hope to remain in contact with all of you. And a shout out to Polly Moon, who I know is in the audience, that sat with me for almost three years, even though I had to be her um, computer person. <laughs> I would like to thank the people of Weathersfield for electing me to represent them and to my husband and daughters who supported my work and commitment and encouraged me along the way and even allowed me to chaperone their band trips. One of the greatest rewards of this position was being able along with my husband, a former council member, to present our daughters with their diplomas and literally have a front row seat to witness all the great kids I got to know along the way receive theirs. I wish you all the best, and for the new board members, I wish you good luck and Godspeed. I know that you will continue with the foundation which has been laid over these past years and continue to move our district forward. If you need me for another building committee, let me know. <laughs> but if you need me for a policy and planning committee, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> A couple others that were all busy too. <laughs> Thank you, Di. Thank you. Ginger? I'm going to try not to catch Diane's sniffles, but um, <laughs> I kept it short. Um, thank you, Bobby, for your kind remarks. Uh, it has been an honor to serve the school children of Wethersfield alongside everyone on this board. See? <laughs> as well as the incredibly professional staff of the Wethersfield Public Schools. My best wishes go to the new board. I know they will face their considerable challenges with the children, not the dollars, in the forefront of their minds. Thank you. Thank you. De Some say when you win an election, you get to come up here and work your second job every night and do this. And uh, some people say when you win, you actually get to go home, sit on your couch with a Bud Light and a bag of Twizzlers. So <laughs> I'm going with number two. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, the other people are right. This is, it's been an honor to be here. It's been an honor to serve with these folks who I consider friends as well as colleagues. And it's truly an honor to serve this town. This is something everybody should do. You should get a chance to go and sit on the inside and see how the school works, how we actually do things, how we buy things, how we pay for things, how we take care of our people and our kids in our buildings. And it's an invaluable experience. And everybody who wants to have any kind of a role in this town at all should take a, ch 
stab at doing this and find out what it's really like because this is I think the most important job we have in this town and I thank you for the opportunity to do this and I'm gonna go home and have my Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you John. Well, Kevin can we get a few words out of you? I've never Kevin Hill 81 Broad Street. <laughs> <laughs> This is kind of, you know, and now I can tell you how I really feel. <laughs> um, but, oh, your uh, mic doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, to reiterate what everyone has said, it, it truly has been an honor um, to work with you all. Um, it's, it's something, you know, you, growing up in town, just sitting behind this dais, it, it's, uh, it, it truly means a lot. Um, you get to kind of, as John said, you get to see how everything really works. Um, and, and not just uh, uh, the board members here I want to thank, but is, is the staff. You know, Mr. Emmett, Mrs. Nistoli, Mr. Kazaka, I mean, they, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis is not seen by the town, and, and it should be because they work miracles. Uh, teachers in town are asked to do more and stretch a dollar further than, than I, I've ever seen. Um, and <laughs> And I'll, I, with a room full of people that I know are coming in, I think it's important. I, you, this board has heard me say it a million times. In order for us to buy an extra pencil every year over year, we need 3.05% added in our budget. 2.5% of that goes to salaries and benefits. So the last four years, we've been cutting, cutting, cutting. And I, <laughs> it's something that I've said ad nauseum, and I have, have to say it again. But um, I want to thank you all for um, your commitment to serve, and thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Now I have a motion to have a recess. Anybody so move. So move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? That motion passes. <coughs>
Congratulations, everyone. Okay, at this time, we'll proceed with the swearing in of the new Weathersfield Board of Education. We can have the new board members come up to the dais. Where we're sitting. <laughs> where we're sitting. Thank you. 
That's mine. Get your brother. Oh. Spell it right. Thank you, Alan. At this time, I'd like to call the meeting of the Weathersfield Board of Education back to order. I'd like to entertain a nomination for chair of the Weathersfield Board of Education. Mr. Healy. Thank you, Superintendent. Uh, <clears throat> good evening. I'd like to nominate Charles Carey for chairman of the Weathersfield Board of Education. Charles is a lifelong resident, a 1996 graduate of Weathersfield High School. He and his wife, Wendy, have three children, Owen, Ray Raylan, and Aliana. Chuck is a sixth grade teacher in the New Britain school system. He previously served on the Board of Education for four years in which he chaired the Student Program and Services Committee and the Finance Committee. And more importantly, he just finished a three-year stint as the president of the Charles Wright Parent Teacher Organization. So uh, Chuck brings a unique perspective to the board, that of a parent, a teacher, a PTO member, to complement his tremendous leadership skills and knowledge. And Charles Carey, in my opinion, is most deserving and will be an asset to have as our leader. Thank you. We have a second. Yes. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Congratulations, Chair. Thank you. Can okay. I have a motion? Oh, 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 all right. I'd like to make a motion added to the agenda in our action items. Could we hold off, Mrs. Granato? We need to uh, make the selection of the vice chair first. Okay, go ahead. Can I have a motion for vice chair of the Board of Education? I'll make a motion for vice chair. Uh, Chris Healy will be serving a four year term after serving the last two years on the board. Chris has also been a member of the Charter Revision Committee, the Ethics Committee, and the Youth Service Committee. Over the last two years, Chris has served on several board subcommittees, including the Policy and Planning Committee, which he chaired. Chris was instrumental in bringing forth a smartphone policy for our, our schools that has lessening distractions, curtailing cyberbullying, and respecting each other, other's time in the classroom. Chris lives in Old Weathersfield with his wife, Susan, and I know he'll bring the same clarity and energy to his tasks as vice chairman. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Second, we have a second, yep. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion carries. Okay, now I'm in order here. Um, I'd like to make a motion in our action items for a um, replacement for Kevin Hill, who is irreplaceable, but um, I nominate um, Ken Lesser for that um, spot on the Board of Ed. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion carries. No, we 
we're still we're still in meeting at this point in time, so we need to move forward with public comment. He's off. The, he's off the hook for another hour. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now is public comment. Please come up. State your name, your address, and you have five minutes to address the board. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is George A. Rue, and I'm following Kevin Hill's, you know, forward of announcing who I am because I wouldn't want anybody to mistake me for someone else. <clears throat> I live at 956 Cloverdale Circle. <clears throat> it's been a long, it's been a long time since I've been here, and uh, I came for a very special purpose. Sometimes people are surprised to see me still around, but here I am, and I just want to share our my best wishes for a board that. I hope we'll work together very effectively and keep the interests of all of the, ch all of the children of the community of Wethersfield, and that means all of them. And I'm confident that that will be the case. Uh, a couple of interesting points, I was gonna have a little fun. When Charlie mentioned the five minutes, I just went, wanted to say, I'm gonna need at least a half an hour to say all I wanna say. And I, I, I want to encourage you not to start every meeting with you got five minutes to speak. Uh, the citizen commentators that are here, in my judgment, play a very important role in how this town is run. And I think it's desirable. I think they have much wisdom to share and to just arbitrarily, because there's a rule that says you got five minutes, you know, sit down. Everyone isn't quite comfortable always in saying what they have to say in five minutes. Some people are very terrified to get up here and say something. And I want to—I think the, I think both the, the council and the board should do those things that make people comfortable and willing to share their experiences. Uh, so, as far as our citizens are concerned, my a counsel to you would be. And, and, and I, I, I'll quote a number, but I've heard that only 30% of our citizens voted in the last election. Is, and I think that's correct. It's about that. And I would certainly encourage all of my fellow citizens in town to get out and vote. Because these people who are running the town need help. They need guidance. And I'm, often, I'm sure they often seek guidance. And I think there is a lot of talent in the community that can very well be shared with both our Board of Education and our uh, town council. In, in, in retrospect, I was a little disappointed that I was looking at the agenda last night when the council was, and there was no time for five minutes. We didn't even have a public comment. So with that said, best wishes, good luck. I know you have the interests of the town at heart. Thank you. Any other public comment? Good evening. Uh, my name is David O'Keefe, 39 Lorraine Road here in town. First, I'd like to start by saying best wishes to the outgoing uh, board members um, and thank you for your time and service. And I'd like to welcome the new board members. This is my first board meeting. Um, plan on attending as many as I possibly can and learning a little more of how this all works. Um, I'm a first year PTO president at Charles Wright, and I've had the honor and privilege of sitting next to now Chairman Carey for the past few months and working with him over the past couple of years. Um, I'm proud to say that, you know, working with him that he's now uh, the chairperson of the Board of Education, and um, I look forward also to learning a lot more from you, Chuck, um, as we move forward. Not only have you become a good friend and a colleague, but um, you become kind of an inspiration as to uh, you know the students and the children of our town, including my kids. So thank you. Um, I just, I guess, in conclusion, I just want to encourage the board as a whole to please keep you know our students at the forefront um, at these meetings, and remember that we're all here for one reason, and that's for the kids, um, and. I hope that um, moving forward, we can better our school system, our facilities, 
and our town as a whole. So best wishes, good luck, and thank you for your time. Any more board comment? All right, seeing none, we'll move on to board comments or any more public comment. Board comment, who would, anyone? Well, I've gone to a couple meetings I'd like to uh, discuss. There's a couple of committees that are very closely related to the Board of Ed, but are really not board committees. And one is Keen for Kids Coalition. Um, we had a meeting on Thursday, October 24th, and we congratulated Caroline Fazina for her Lights On After School program, because the Keene Foundation is doing all our after school programs. There are 864 enrollees right now with additional programs coming in the late fall. Brooke Beery also reported they have an after school teen program for the Silestine Middle School kids, and they have 50 students coming most days. The Career Advisory Board, led by Ken Lesser, we met on Monday the 28th, and this is a dynamic group of town people, so anyone who cares to join, wishes to join, it is a wonderful group as we work to provide business experience for our students as they search for their next step or career. Uh, Mark Danaher is our career advisor, and he has wonderful ideas for the future and is a great organizer. WEC, the Wethersfield Early Childhood Collaborative, met on Tuesday, October 23rd for their annual meeting. And most interesting, the guest speaker was Michael Goldbass, who's a former attorney for the Southern District of New York. And when he introduced himself, we all stopped. But now he utilizes his time as a volunteer for United Way, and he was the one who worked to get us our Alice Grant of $20,000, which will be used to establish a messenger group to let our citizens know what the services are available. And finally, but one very important announcement, the Weathersfield Education Foundation has its annual meeting at the Weathersfield Country Club on Thursday, the 21st at 7 o'clock. All are welcome to attend. This group looks to fund, um, find funds to enhance and enrich our Weathersfield Public School curriculum. There will be election of officers that evening. And really, it's another great group of enthusiastic Weathersfield citizens, so I hope you can come. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Grave. Yes. Um, I would just like to say thank you first to my father, who was a community member born here and gave back to the community after his return from World War II. And I'll recognize his, his giving so we could all vote when stationed over in Germany during World War II. He was a role model to me to volunteer in this community as he became a volunteer fireman as soon as he returned. I also want to thank the Republicans, the Independents, and the Democratic voters for their support. I plan to work with all these board members to make good decisions for our children and our teachers. Finally, I need to thank my husband, David, for always supporting my ambitions, and my son, Kevin, who helped me campaign and get the millenniums out to vote using social media. And I want to thank everybody. I promise to do my best. Thank you. Any more board comment? <coughs> yes, Isaac, right? Yeah. Um, I have a school update to inform the board members. Uh, good evening, board members. I'd first like to begin by saying congratulations to the newly elected members. These past weeks at WHS have been quite hectic. In athletics, football had three games, winning two of the three, and they had their senior night this past Friday, making and now their record stands at six and two. Girls soccer made it to the playoffs, which the game was today at six thirty, and field hockey had a playoff game as well today as well at four o'clock. While in the academic part of the school, the school is beginning to put together the course course catalog in hopes that students can pick their classes sooner rather than later. The school is set to announce a partnership with Goodwin College to provide tech-ed-based uh, tech opportunities in hopes, in hopes to start as soon as possible. Midterms are slowly approaching and are said to be a mixture of either projects or papers, e or paper and pencil exams. Lastly, the decision has been made that graduation gowns will be a solid navy blue instead of the traditional royal blue and white. The reason to this is to show the school's true colors. In past years, it was a royal blue 
and white and now will be an accurate representation of our school colors with it being navy blue. The gowns also show that the class is unified as a whole. You don't see that classes are broken up by gender into male and female classes. Finally, it provides support for a group of students for those who may not always be supported. That will conclude my school update. Thank you, Isaac. Mm -hmm. Any more board comment? Sure. Yes. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> Just a few comments. Um, first of all, I want to acknowledge um, the love and the support of my wife, Susan, who's here today uh, for all those uh, nights and days out campaigning. And uh, she's, it's not the first rodeo she's been to with me, but probably the, <laughs> probably the worst. Um, and I want to thank the people that, that ran with us on our team. And I want to thank all the candidates who ran on both sides um, for a very spirited election. I think it was good for the community and everyone involved. I also want to pay uh, my dues to uh, the board members that I served with the last two years, some who are not coming back, some are taking a promotion uh, over there in the town council uh, for the, for the uh, friendship and guidance they showed. And I want to particularly thank Bobby Granado, who was incredibly generous to me and gave me something to do, be, be busy with, and uh, showed, uh, showed some um, uh, uh, confidence in my abilities. And I appreciate that and look forward to working again with her and all the members uh, in the next four years, the next year as well. Uh, and just a final comment. Um, I know we're all talking about what our, our goals are, and I think a lot of the things that have been started over the last two years we're going to continue on with. We have lots of important projects to do, both in terms of the facilities, curriculum, and staffing, and planning, and, and uh, strategic plan, and those are all good things. Uh, but I will be remiss to say that during the time I was out there campaigning, a lot of people, everyone I talked to, want a good school system. They want a competitive school system. They know it's good for business. They know it's good for our community. It's, it's an asset. And we're going to do everything I can to improve that asset as best we can. But we also must be mindful of the people out there that are paying the freight uh, who are also very concerned about that. So uh, with that, I, I'm looking forward to the next year. I look forward to working closely with the town council as well as we move forward together uh, in this, I, I would not say challenging times, but a time of great opportunity for this school system. And I'm uh, looking forward to participating and contributing to that at, to the best of my ability. So thank you. Thank you. Any further board comment? I have uh, just a few comments. I wanted to thank the residents of the town for electing me and the election process was uh, it was something I didn't expect, and it was a, a great team to run with. And at the poll, Sandy, it was great to uh, meet folks from both sides, uh, you know, of the aisle. So I look forward to serving. And thank you for to my family for putting up with me. And as my daughter said, no door knocking today, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Any more? All right, I'll end with, I'm honored and humbled to be elected to serve on this board for the third time and to be selected as a chair. I want to thank all the residents of Weathersfield for entrusting me with this tremendous task. I do not take this position lightly. This would not have been possible without the support of my wife, Wendy, and my three children, Owen, Braylon, and Aliana. I sacrificed many hours of time away from them in order to achieve my dream of returning to the board. It is the passion and drive of mine to be able to give back to this wonderful community and school system that I grew up in. In the audience is my mom, who many of you know, who, have, who has supported me the whole way in my pursuit of my dreams and during my journey of coming back to the board. You often see my mom at the polls working for me and talking it up to everybody. My values and my strive to never give up on my dreams was instilled in me by my mom as she raised my brother and I alone in this great town. If you have ever been in the Stillman building, there's a plaque with a former board members listed on it. I often looked at that when I served on the board before and thought about the people who served on this board as I was growing up who gave up many hours to this school system to help it the best place it could be for my education. Two of those people were very important in my lives and I looked up to them and that was Fred Petrelli and George Camargo. Both of them were role models to me and I still talk to their children to this day. And now I get to follow in the footsteps of another person whose name is on that plaque and I admired as a child and still as an adult. John Cassio, who was the chair when I graduated high school and gave my diploma, and 
was the chair for the first two years I was on the board. I have learned so much about leadership from him and look forward to leading this board and our schools down the continued path of success and growth. I also wanted to take this time to thank former chairperson Granado for all her hard work the past four years. I even observed in her class when I was student teaching at Charles Wright over a decade ago and play golf with her at Weatherford Country Club before. So I look forward to serving with you. I'd like to leave on this last quote that I found while I was going through quotes last night by Ross Perot. Lead and inspire people. Don't try to manage and manipulate people. Inventories can be managed, but people must be led. Can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.